the 10th of uh, June 2012 and I just want to um, uh, spend some time with you and explain about the Tidal Energy Project uh, that we have um, uh, put together that I've been talking about for some time now and that's been going on for eight years of uh, research and uh, refining uh, everything I've done with it and also um, looking at other um, tidal energy projects around the world. Uh, they've spent a lot of money on their research and uh, but I'm not in the position to do that only um, 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 put together information uh, of the best that, that I can and come up with um, a plan. I've come up with that plan here um, and you'll see this on Facebook and uh, also on Twitter. Um, I've just um, took about four days to put it together and I just want to explain a little bit of it um, so that you can understand when you have a look at it on Facebook that um, we're really putting together the shares uh, for um, tidal energy and solid, solid hydrogen uh, jet fuel uh, as um, uh, the hydrogen economy uh, that's um, prevalent now. Uh, it's, it's going to um, come into its, uh, its own and it's taking a little while to do it because of the storage problems uh, that they've had with high pressure um, vessels and uh, no longer have that problem now uh, that we've joined with um, H-Bank in uh, Taiwan and Taipei and the manager there um, and we're just putting some, some packets together uh, for, that, uh, for this project and you'll see their name there and their storage tanks and how I propose to um, uh, apply it uh, to the uh, to the compressors, a very large compressor, that's 30 ton, and you need uh, a lot of energy to drive that. Uh, so uh, all of our all of our power is coming from the bottom of the ocean uh, in uh, hydraulics um, on, on big blades. Uh, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these big blades going swinging around, um, um, like like so around a. Uh, axle, and that axle is going into the seabed, and these are floated out, and then joined up, and then uh, and then they go like that, and then like that, and like that, and go around that way. And so we get our power from that, or by having wide blade, wide area, uh, instead of windmills. Um, so this is this is the only way to put them on top of each other like that, and. The waves that push it and so we'll capture all the ton force down at 400 uh, meters deep um, 300 meters deep we're going to sorry in the Rokomara range uh, basin Rokomara basin on the east cape of the North Island New Zealand uh, uh, down at 300 uh, meters uh, it's about 400 uh, pounds per square inch on each square inch of that blade uh, area and you multiply that by the ton force that's going that way as, as um, five knots and five knots to turn that big blade and then it turns that way and glides at 15 degrees on an angle up around 90 degrees and then down down 15 degrees and so that allows the water coming this way to actually push it down and raise it up so you, you've got this on this side going up and down and on this side that way to get the power so you balance the power this side to this side um, so that there's no force on one or the other side and n no, no force on the shaft on the shaft so it won't push it over it'll, it'll be cancelled out this side and this side that side that way this side flat that way on an angle so that's the idea of, of sliding, sliding those up, up and down on the shaft and then the bridge the bridge got the other eight around like that to hold the bridge up and this one just holds the turbines up like that right? and then we've got the water coming out from the bottom of the ocean the water comes from the pump, the pump down the bottom pumps the water up the shaft, up here, between here and goes out the end here goes out the end there of that, right, swings around there and shoots out, shoots out the end here and I just want to explain 
this is the magnetic um, ma- ma- magneto uh, dynamic force of water going through there this, this is the technology we're using to uh, to get our extra power or that's where our power generation is made from having the uh, having the uh, um, turbine the water coming through through the shaft so you have to shaft this way that's explaining it the shaft going over there right and that's the shaft there and that's going there there like that so the water comes up up the shaft that way on the outside here between the hub and then it goes out through the shaft there and then out there and jets it around and throws it around and the water comes through there through there through there you'll see the picture on here on the um, on this picture I got on the put it up the right way uh, here <coughs> you'll see the the picture here of the of that um, superconducting um, MHD MHD uh, that we'll be we'll be using. I've been toying around with this idea for quite a few many years now, and that so we'll be using that as the generator to get the megawatts of power rather than a normal generator, and uh, and um, so we can use the, the high torque of the sea at the bottom of the ocean um, to spin the shaft around. So the shaft turning the shaft turning around the stationary one and the shaft turning around with this blade around that and the water is going up between there and there right and you as a bearing water bearing yeah so it's explaining how things work so that when you look at it you read it you'll understand what I'm talking about uh, just to make it simple I just want to explain why you you um, join us in the um, Moai um, my wife, um, powerhouse group cooperative and uh, she's uh, for this project so you're <coughs> investing in all this equipment the, the big compressor that's 30 tons of it the two big helicopters the biggest one in the world I've got it all sussed out now and it's trial price and the um, that's the MI, MI-26 uh, that's uh, 33,000 uh, kilogram It'll carry 20,000 kilogram, 105 of these bottles. Uh, you'll see it there. Uh, the um, canisters, the HB Technologies canisters that'll carry the solid hydrogen. And just for interest, matter of interest, uh, four of those canisters uh, is is two trucks. Ah, uh, sorry, four of those canisters that carry 16,500 liters each. There's a truck and its trailer on the airport filling a jumbo jet up. So it takes two trucks and their trailers to fill those jumbos up. Right? Two trucks, two trucks and the trailers on them. So that's about 60,000 litres. Well, that's only that's only um, four of these four of these uh, canisters. Four of them. Four of them. Uh, two, two. Yeah, uh, 32. Yeah, four. Four is a truck and its trailer. Four, two is 32,000 litres. 32,000 litres. Oh, that's about right. Four. About three of those canisters uh, to to for a truck and trailer. So six of those canisters to fill a jumbo jet. You see. So and it's only 550 millimetres long, 550 millimetres high, and 380 millimetres that way. Not big, but it holds up that much is solid metal uh, liquid hydrogen jet fuel, right? I told uh, uh, the, our, our, our friend over in Taiwan that I'm going to run the helicopter on on, on his his uh, tank, and he said he'd never heard that before. I said, "Well, you're hearing it now from Mary, okay? Just Mary, Mary, your brains." Okay? So anyway, uh, that, so that's what you're investing. <coughs> your shares in, in this technology, the best in the world, there is, with hydrogen, I'm talking about, on a grand scale, that's, that's uh, many thousands of litres, 1.73 million litres at a time, carrying in these helicopters, right? 105, 105 
uh, canisters of those canisters in one of the biggest helicopters, the MI-26, and um, that's uh, that's uh, a lot of fuel. Multiply that by 16,500 liters, that's how much fuel you got. Right? And just remember, six of those fill a jumbo jet up. Right? And so we uh, we um, we're investing in in that jet fuel. We're investing in all this equipment to put it together. Now all the equipment I've sussed it out now. I've got it all priced up and I'm going to call Price Waterhouse Coopers tomorrow and see how far they got with uh, they've got a lot to read. Right? I need two or three weeks to do that, it'll take me eight years to do this. I can read in five minutes, but he's already got the plan from two thousand and five, Chris Taylor. Uh, he's the manager of the uh, energy side of uh, uh, Pricewaterhousecoopers, uh, international accountants. So, so I've known him before. Uh, with that project, it's nothing new. Uh, just only the latest of the ideas uh, that I put in to beef it up. Right? And with the solid hydrogen tanks, it has made it much better um, and much more attractive and lighter and go further on the field. Uh, so we've got a lot of advantage with that. And, and the helicopter we will be running on the hydrogen, well, I've worked it out and with uh, the manufacturers to put, fit it up, <coughs> get that all done, so you pay for all that cost. And uh, the fuel is working out about $5 a, a, a kg litre, and so you just need to multiply that by 16500 and you'll, you'll see the figures start to add up uh, quite a bit uh, on, the, on, on the return. So that's guaranteed. The sea won't stop. The tide will always go anticlockwise on the Rokumula Basin on the East Cape, the water goes from uh, there, the East Cape, North Island, New Zealand, across to Chile, in the cold waters, and up into the hot waters and um, warm waters in uh, Hawaii, across to Tonga, and then down to Samoa, Australia, and back here. So it goes around anti-clockwise. We put these bridges that we're building right in the middle of it. Now, just while I'm there, <coughs> we're breaking the bridge down into just one section like that. Okay? We're not this way. Bit smaller there. Only 40 meters square. We're only going to put that down with eight, eight, eight legs going around like that to hold the bridge up. And we're going to put that up so because the uh, the insert in the middle, so when that when that bit goes up, the inserts are 200 meters wide. They go between there, and we just put the next one out there, and the next, and just carry on going uh, out. So um, uh, it won't take much to to get one going. So I've broken down the, the 25,000 megawatts into 300 megawatts, just in this one here, just, just in one section. And that makes uh, better economic sense just to do that first. And the, the rest of the bridge will pay itself off if we just do one section like that. Okay? Just, just, just to let you know, we're not going to build a whole long bridge to join New Zealand to Australia uh, or North Island to the South Island. Not yet. will be one day. Across the Kaipara Harbour, we can get across there and, and the bridge will pay itself when we get this one at the East Coast going. I was going to put the one in the uh, uh, Kaipara, but um, the one down the East Cape is, is much more powerful and it doesn't stop. The one in the Kaipara, that will stop for six hours. We lose a day, but we still make it up. What happens when the, uh, when the tide is running and if it slows down and the jet engines on the end fire up as the pressure of the hydraulics drops, um, the pressure coming up the middle, of the, and, and, and so we, this jet engine will fire up some more, because it's going all the time, it spins it around, spins it around, and the, and, the, and the, weight of, the weight of the turbines are floating, so they're floating up, up and down, and like there, up and down, and they're ballast, so they've got no weight, weightless, but the, when they start spinning, they, they just keep going. And so the generator's up, just underneath the uh, low tide, and so it's spinning around flat out too, so uh, it's hydraulically driven, and so everything's done by water. Water is driving everything, and water is we're getting the energy out of it, and the rest of the pressure, the blow-off pressure, relief pressure, goes out the end here and throws the thing around through the water, and this, of course, with the water coming out, we're catching the, the turbulence from there to spin the generator in the water. So we're using the, uh, the salt water as a conductor. We put the power into it 
and and electrify it, and so that pushes push it around, push, push the big wheel around at the same time. So we're getting, we're getting mechanical energy, we're getting water jet energy, and then we're getting fuel, solid hydrogen burnt fuel through the jet engine at the same time, and we're getting magnetothermodynamic um, um, energy from the superconductor uh, motor part of the, um, of the whole um, generation system out here, right on the tip, so right on the tip of the uh, turbines. So that's just what I wanted to, to explain to you, so you'll learn a little bit at a time, uh, because there's a lot in it, uh, so when you start understanding how it all works, you'll, you'll, you'll know what you're spending your money on to invest. And you see the big helicopter here, it's real huge, and uh, so just had a look at all its specifications. And with the compressor, that's huge too. That's 30, 30 tons. It take a lot to drive that. So we're using the, the, the force of the, the uh, hub and the axle. Oh, that's the axle. And the hub goes around there. And the turbines actually drives, drives, the, um, drives the compressors. And that's where we're getting free energy from the compressors. It's quicker than doing ele uh, uh, electrolyzer. Uh, on the on the um, water and and uh, other forms of compression uh, like fuel cells uh, uh, too expensive and this is quicker by having just mechanical uh, compressors is 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 a lot better as far as we're concerned for compression um, because it takes a lot of power to get get it out and and we don't want to use the electricity uh, uh, too much to to um, um, drop the pressure down to metal and you know, we use the compressors okay? so we get heaps of power, heaps of grunt from that and um, so uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just um, um, uh, talk with, you'll see on here the um, uh, trans power, you know, the power how, how the power comes from the, the turbines and it goes um, up through the generator and it goes up through the compressors uh, through the electrolyzer first and it goes through the, the, the compressor and then it goes into the bottles and it goes from the bottles into the the appliances which is the, the helicopters and into the the grid lines into the main grid lines of 400 kV, 220 kVs and the 110 kV lines that I'm just going to negotiate with Contact Energy you'll see the letters, the testimonies on, on my Facebook and Victor and also Transpower already in negotiations with them in 2008 now it's 2012 a different story all right, so we go along and uh, we've got all these bottles here uh, the canisters what they call them and uh, with solid hydrogen so there's no high pressure and you can throw them in the fire and, 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 and shoot them and nothing happens so they're pretty safe and they already got them in cars uh, already but we're going in a in a, in a, to, to have, have a jumbo running on it, that's our vision, is to have a, a jumbo run on these, this fuel and discharge into the jet engines. So that's, um, being an engineer myself, and I've, you'll see my certificate on there for, for gas and, and things like that, and mechanic, uh, to know what I'm talking about when it comes to these sort of things, mechanical things and, and uh, um, vehicles. Aircraft, flying aircraft, let's see the license here, flying aircraft, is nothing new. So, you know, I'll be handling one of those hel helicopters myself uh, as well. So we've got, um, we've got the submarines here. All these things will be running on these bottles. All right, bottles again, um, canisters. Uh, and so we've got, uh, we've got the Auckland City here, a picture. And then down to um, the grid, the main, the new lines from Hobson Street uh, across to the North Shore from Pakarangi. So all that area is going to be needing another thousand megawatts of power. So you've got nine thousand, about nine thousand eight hundred megawatts at full demand when when there's peak times and uh, drops back uh, drops back from there. So I've got all those figures together you know, for Transpower and also for Contact and and, um, and Vector power companies. We've got all that sorted out. We've got all the power ratios sorted out from the hydrogen and uh, how much is how much can be compressed how much can be stored and how many bottles I need, all the, all the equipment. And it's quite a bit of things, so the cost adds up. And so, uh, but you get your money back from the jet fuel. Once it goes, it's gone, 
it just keeps going. It's never going to stop. Guaranteed. Uh, total energy is guaranteed. Um, you know, all the time can guarantee this from now. And so that makes you more confident to buy shares. And um, the other part of it is um, um, with the with the, um, the with the gold uh, bullion uh, bullion vault. When you join, you um, uh, put down one pound uh, deposit into the account. We've got the offshore uh, national bank uh, um, foreign currency account here down in Queen Street, the main branch of this country, and also the um, 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 bullion vault bank. Uh, we've got money tied up in there now, invested in gold. Uh, and then we've got Moai Bank on its own. So the Moai Bank will be owned, everything here will be owned by the shareholders, you the shareholders that buy into it. And um, we've got ABC shares. So I'll just, uh, I'll just say that um, the cooperative will own everything uh, that's, that is here uh, for life. And um, this, it's not on the open market. Uh, this is private treaty uh, agreement. And also, um, um, uh, people that want to pull out and, and we buy it back into the company. So it's not going to go anywhere else other than, uh, other than stay in, uh, in, the, in the hands of the shareholders. So um, with the gold bullion, um, uh, that, that we, we, we have three banks and we gauge our own Moai Bank, Moai being the brand name and the uh, um, the um, patent rights um, that the Maui is uh, sitting in, uh, standing in uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth's second great court in London. You'll see that beside my head, the icon, uh, beside my wife Linda, and um, you'll, uh, and he's the figurehead there. All the Maui's around the world in the main, in New York, um, um, uh, uh, European Union, um, Brussels, and um, uh, uh, Washington DC. Singapore, uh, France, uh, here in New Zealand, up the road here in, in Auckland here, we've got Maui there in Dunedin, South Island. These are real Maui off East Island. Those go with the history of this, right? So that's our sovereignty, uh, sovereign, sovereign state on the bridge. The bridge is a sovereign state of its own. You can sip it from the dry land. Okay? This, this, is, this is the other part of this whole thing. Anyway, uh, so we have got, we've got our own Maui Bank to gauge against the other two banks and we, we're going to increase the value of the water currency money uh, and the hydrogen jet fuel as our currency and with the uh, high energy vacuum, uh, that's the engine I explained to you uh, with the ball, the ball uh, that's the size of the engine, 5 megawatts, that's just that size engine. I'll explain that another day, but that's the high uh, energy vacuum, it, it can float in the air, and, and so that's part of our projects leading off from this. Once, once this is up, that goes, and so we'll be floating in the air off, off the ground, okay? So that's, that's just um, to give you some idea of what you're going into when you buy shares in this. It's permanent and, and very good at that. Yep, so there's a lot of scope for a lot of jobs for a lot of people all around the world. This is not limited to just New Zealand. This is going around the world, global. So all the um, deposits coming into the account is, uh, is in pound notes uh, in, in, um, uh, will be set up in London. Uh, our office there um, and our currency will be running in gold, in, in, in pound notes and also in water currency on this side. You've got Moai, you've got Moai Bank here, you've got the National Bank here, um, the Foreign Currency Bank and then you've got Bullion Vault over here, uh, Bullion Vault here. Uh, Three banks. All right? So we, we make sure to our shares go up. When our gold goes up, it stays up. It doesn't go up and up and down, up and down, up and down. This is off the market. These two are on the market, on the open market. Vulnerable. The one over here, solid as a rock. With my eyes, solid as a rock. And it's never going to shift. It's never going to be this God's law. This is man's law. And this one's man's law. This is God's law. Right? Just to let you know that we are very nice people. And uh, sound very nice sometimes and uh, so that's that's basically all for now and uh, I hope you'll enjoy this video and I hope you'll buy this here soon when we get them ready I've just got to do the website up and that's taking me a bit of a bit of a task because I've been doing it for eight years all by myself and um, uh, with a bit of, bit of help from um, people here and there I've got my friend over the shore Kevin Rears he's uh, he's with uh, 
um, Dogas Limited, and he's into the uh, fuel cells, and he'll be uh, um, running this this company for me as I um, I leave it I leave it with his very experience, and I trust him very much. Uh, he's uh, Danish, and uh, also they they are very good at hydrogen. You know they know what they're doing, and so uh, not to say Maribel does what he's doing too. But anyway, we exchange our ideas and share these things of share, share with the rest of the world. And we can't take it with us when we go, but I'm going out the other way anyway. We're going to fly out to Makamaki. Uh, Makamaki. And this, uh, our, our, our ancestors over there so me to hurry up. So, uh, let you follow us now. You can come for a ride if you like. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll get real and we'll get this project going and with your help and your shares. And um, we can talk about that another day. So. Thank you very much for now, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, and be good to each other. And no, no telling lies. Thank you.